Hello guys, it's Tony and I am here with another viewer challenge. Well, I got a request from Angela and Angela wanted me to recreate this beautiful blingy wedding cake stand. I looked that stand up and it cost $300 for a 16 inch one. So I recreated my own and it came out really nice. It looks really expensive, really blingy and shiny. Plus, my stand can rotate. So I want to show you how you can create your own wedding cake stand like this for under 20 bucks. Check this out. So after examining this piece, this looked a lot like a wall mirror to me with a really deep frame. So if I could find a simple and expensive mirror that was shaped like this, I would be halfway done. While I was out searching, I couldn't find any mirrors that fit the description, but there were a lot of interesting clocks with really deep frames. And then bingo, I found just what I was looking for, a 16 inch round with the perfect base for my stand. Now this as a mirror would have been perfect, but it was only $10, so I can figure out how to make it work. So to recreate my stand, I'm using this West Clock 16 inch wall clock that I found at Ross, a silver metallic poster board that I got at Hobby Lobby. Now the regular price for this was $4.99, but I used a 40% off coupon, so it was just $3. Hobby Lobby did have other metallic posters for just a dollar and some change, but not as brilliantly shiny as this one and I wanted to have a mirror finish. I'm using a foam board poster. You can pick this up at Dollar Tree. Also from Dollar Tree you'll need about three rows of diamond wrap ribbon and two cake pans. Now because I don't want the clock to show I'm going to start by taking this apart. I'm turning this over to the back and I'm removing all the small screws. When you remove the back, be careful to keep track of all the screws and set them aside. Next, I'm gonna turn my clock upside down and trace the face of my clock on top of the metallic poster board. Then cut the circle out. I'm also cutting a circle out of my foam board, but I wanna make this circle one inch around smaller then the metallic circle so that it'll fit inside my clock. Since there's a glass piece on top of this and the inside of the clock is hollow, I want to have a padding so that the glass piece will have support in case there's a lot of weight on top of it. So with the rest of the foam board, I'm cutting pieces and I'm inserting them inside the clock and I'm making three layers of foam padding underneath the foam circle that I cut out. I want everything to fit inside and be pretty much level with the top face of the clock. So now I can put everything back together. I'm going to put my silver circle on top and then my glass piece. Make sure you clean the glass on both sides and remove all the fingerprints and dust. Now putting this back together is not as easy as taking it apart. You have to make sure the screw holes from the inside line up with the holes on the outside. Since I won't be able to see this when I turn it over, I'm going to use a ruler so that I can mark where one of the screw holes is, right on the edge of the cover. Then I can place my finger on that dot and line it up with the hole at the bottom. You should feel it lock into place and as long as it doesn't slide back and forth, it should be in the right holes. Then you can turn it over and put the screws back in. Now it's time to bling this up. Using a hot glue gun, I'm going to glue a row of diamond wrap ribbon around the side of the base. Starting at the top edge, right before it starts to curve. To take care of the curved edge, I'm going to cut the strip in pieces. I'm cutting four roll pieces. Then I'm going to hot glue those pieces around as I contour it to the shape of the curve. And try to line the diamonds up to 
the rows of the diamonds below it. Now I have a really beautiful cake stand with a blingy diamond base, metallic rim, and a mirror-like surface. And after the wedding's over, I could always take it apart and use it as a very blingy, beautiful clock. Now I'm not sure if you want your cake to rotate, but you can very easily turn this into a rotatable dessert tray. And all you need for this is two cake pans. Now I know you all probably seen the Lazy Susan trick where you take two cake pans and you put marbles in one of them and the top one will rotate on top of the other. Well you don't actually need marbles to have the pans rotate. If you just place one pan inside the other, the top will rotate. And I like the slow, smooth motion of not having the marbles in it. So to make this a rotatable stand, I'm going to glue the rim of one pan to the bottom of the piece. But if you're going to use this for your wedding cake or something heavy, I would use a strong glue like E6000. But since I am not having a wedding and I want to turn this into a blingy clock afterwards, I'm going to just use some hot glue to glue this piece on right now so that I could pop it off later. For the bottom pan, I'm going to cover the sides with diamond wrap starting at the very bottom of the pan. And since it angles in a little, I'm going to cut strips so that it'll go around nicely. Now you can just sit your stand inside the lower cake pan and just that easy you'll have a rotatable dessert tray. You just have to remember that this is two pieces when you're picking it up. But it will definitely make a spectacular cake stand or a really beautiful rotatable dessert tray at your wedding or event. So thank you guys so much for all your Facebook posts and suggestions. I am looking through all of them and you guys have some really great ideas. So I am going to try to do as many of them as possible for me to do. Someone asked if I could do a wedding series. So for the rest of this month, I'll try to create as many blingy things as I can that you could use for your wedding, starting with your suggestions. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications, and you'll always know when I upload a new video. And I'll see you all next week with my next challenge. Add me on Snapchat at Your House of Home and Instagram at Your House of Home TV for daily home, food, and gardening tips.